Hello everybody, my name is Leandro Mada. In this video, we're going to talk about the Gate Manager, which is one of the components of the EcoStructure Secure Connect Advisor. If we go to the presentation, in the past I have explained that the solution of EcoStructure Secure Connect Advisor comes of three components. The Gate Manager, which is the one that we're going to talk about in this part, the Site Manager, and the Link Manager. Here you can see some details about each part, okay? The link manager that will be installed in your laptop and in your laptop we are going to be able to open the gate manager and then we should be able to link the link manager with the gate manager and finally the site manager so we can implement the solution of the remote connection. So in this part what we're going to do is the following. We're going to use our laptop to communicate to the gate manager okay that will be in the cloud okay so for that we will require internet connection so how we can start with this when we ask for the 30 days trial version or the essential pack or the enterprise pack we're going to receive an email like this with some details okay and um, in this email, we're going to have this GMC file or ELMC file, okay, that we're going to need to get access to the gate manager. We can find here some details about the some initial starting guide, okay, for how to use this uh, this solution. We're going to have a password that we need to use on the gate manager, and we also going to see the link to get access to the gate manager and below some details that we're going to need to use on the HMI for the site manager so let's proceed with this one tuck, tuck. so this is the information I give you before the access to the start guide the access to the secure connect gate manager and also the details that we're going to use in the future for the site manager. So, in order to start with the Secure Connect Gate Manager, we need to download this file, the GMC file on your laptop, and save the file to have the GMC file or ELMC file. We're going to need this password, okay? And then we need to enter into this link to get access to the Gate Manager. So, once we have done that, let me just open the internet on my side. Okay, I have already entered into this. The Game Manager had that access. You can have the certificate. You need to browse for the one that you had downloaded. In my case, I have two, GNC and LMC. I already have a password here and then login. So, once you enter into the gate manager, you can see this is the folder that you have, that you have the domain token, which is one of the data that we have in the part of the presentation. Just double check with you, this one, okay, that we're gonna use on the HMI. This is not important at the moment, okay, and let me just go back to the browser here. And here's something important. In the trial version, okay, 30 days trial version, we have um, these three licenses. We have the site manager, okay, to connect to one site and then file device agent, the link manager and the link manager mobile. So. What we need to do, okay, is to, let me just refresh. When we log in, we have this startup. So if we create an account for us, if we go next, I want to create a dedicated account. No, let's do it data. Okay, if we create one of your, your name, this one functionality is for the future. There is no need at the moment. 
escape and this is the information that we require to connect to the site manager gate manager address which is the one to get access to this page for the gate manager and then the domain token okay finish so here when in that wizard it creates this account it could be for us or for anybody okay and here you can specify the authentication to use the certificate as you have already done or use username or password and then you can save okay or use the certificate as you wish if you want to use this uh, main account but for a different user you can create a new user okay for example se level 2 you can specify link manager or mobile we need to use the user the mobile the mobile is not available yet so we can use the link manager user here username and password okay will be much easier and then you can specify another address okay join me okay this is good we need to say this valid email address here sorry names mm -hmm. technical support level 2 UK so we can save this perfect and there we go it creates another account so here we can manage the accounts for the technicians that they want to join us in the secure connection and we can also see all the license that we can have what we're going to see later is how we can add the sites into here okay and the subdomains in this 30 days trial version we can only create accounts but if we are using the enterprise or you are using um essential pack you can create subdomains so you can divide between different end users and all the different sites that you want to connect so let me just go back to the presentation in case I leave something over there. Okay, this is what I've been talking about. Once you enter into the gate manager, you can select your file, the GMC. Let me just double check one thing here. Okay, this is what I want to show you later. Please proceed with this. You can change your password. In my case, I have already access, so there is no need for change on my side. You can click on these options. And then we can start with the wizard, as I showed you before. Okay, this is the same that we create with the same username that you have on the top. Proceed. Let's give the link part, the link manager mobile. And then here's the information that we need to use in order to connect to the site uh, manager, okay, that will be on our HMIs. Here is uh, the details, okay, just to check username and customer name. Let me just double check one thing. I received the email for the account that I had created for me. So this is something similar what you already have. Okay. You can see that you will receive this kind of email. You have the access to the gate manager. You will see there the users and to do the domain. And let me just click on here. And let me check the credentials so we can do this together so se level 2 so this is my user let's put it over here 
user and the password mm -hmm. and the password is this thing over here login it will ask me to change so I'm gonna put this straight uh, mm -hmm. okay continue okay I have read I don't want to do it okay here we can see all the things that we have in this case as we have um, a standard a basic manager gate manager there is nothing that we can see here but let me just have a chair we can have a summary of the license you have one link manager license okay and the administrator is just one which is not my case okay and let me just go back here you can see here this one is the administrator that is the one that you receive with the CFG you can see here the accounts this one is E level 2 as it's in green since that is connected okay is online but this one is not the just have a check it's not the administrator so he's not able to see all the license okay how is distributed between all these departments all, all these sites okay what this user can see is the sites that we're going to see later okay so what i have done here is to access into this uh, user which is the one that i received by email with the gmc file and then i create two different accounts okay this one as you can see there and then in the administrator account you can see all the lines and that you that you have okay so what you need to know is that you need to click on the link, download the zip file, unzip the zip file, and then you need to import it into this gate manager, change the password, create this one, and that's it. This is all you need to know so far. And if you need to create a new account, right click, create account. If you have a different version instead of the 30 days trial, what you need to do is to create subdomains so you can separate from the different size that you have. That's all. Just double check, it's missing something, but I think I cover everything from this part. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. This one is very important. I should probably mention before that once you access you can see here the description which is the site manager standard which belongs to the HMI to the site and the link manager which would be the the one that can connect to the remote site okay I believe is nothing missing here how we display the part to change for certificate password to username password as I show you when I create a new account then you can say and that's all so this is the game manager how to get access to the game manager later we're going to see how we can implement the three components together thank you very much for watching me and if you have any other questions just give us a call or send us an email thank you